I wanted to create an izakaya at home and I wanted to show you guys how you guys can do it as well. All of us have been pretty bored recently, staying locked up inside, quarantined at home. I think all of us are pretty bored right about now. So today I wanted to do something really fun. I want to do something I really love to do in Japan, which is going to an izakaya. But we cannot go to an izakaya because we all know what's happening right now. I wanted to create an izakaya at home and I wanted to show you guys how you guys can do it as well. Whether you're in Japan or anywhere else in the world. I think what I'm going to do today is very doable. You know, a lot of us have been cooking at home recently and we're kind of bored of the same old thing. So hopefully this kind of satisfies old boredom that we're having recently. I love going to izakayas. Yuji loves going to izakayas. It's usually what we do every Saturday. And in case you're wondering what an izakaya is, an izakaya is like a Japanese restaurant slash bar slash pub. They're really fun to go to. They have really good high quality food, nice drinks, and... <sighs> This is so much. So we're gonna have an izakaya at home today in Japan. So let's start with the ambiance. So when you go to an izakaya restaurant in Japan, you'll usually be greeted with some brightly lit red lanterns. After entering, you'll usually be greeted with a very beige atmosphere filled with smoke and laughter. Sometimes they will have menu items written on the walls and normally they will have a few vintage posters as well. Propaganda and posters izakaya? Let's see if we can find any good images. Oh, something like this, but it's kind of scary. We can get some nice quality prints. We need to do size and large. Oh, no, this is not for Izakaya, but oh. Oh, I want this. No, focus. Go back. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, it's a nice one. Okay, let's save this one. Oh, it looks, it looks like a matcha bowl, but she has... I'm not understanding what's going on here. I like it. Hey love? Maybe he can hear me and he just doesn't want to help me. Maybe. Love? Oh. Do you know the name of the old posters that you find in the izakayas? Is there a name for that? Like, do you know what period it is? It's not Edo period. Showa or Meiji. Okay. Showa era posters. Okay, so after many search attempts, I was able to find the best posters using these key terms. Japanese old propaganda posters, Showa era posters, Meiji era posters. I then went to the family mart, don't worry, disinfected my hands before entering and afterwards, printed my posters, and then got the hell out of there. Okay, so I looked up on Amazon some red lanterns that I could purchase. They're a little bit more expensive than I thought they would be. For example, I saw two of like the typical izakaya red lantern. For two lanterns, the cost was about 2,800 yen, which is about 28 US dollars. So I thought that was a little bit expensive for my one night of izakaya at home. I opted for these red lanterns instead. The typical red lanterns that you'll see outside of an izakaya, those are called aka chochun, right? Ten lanterns for about... $13 so I thought it was a little bit cheaper of course they don't have the kanji written on it so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try oh, I'm gonna try to write the kanji on it myself with this marker I got from the Daiso first I need to look up what is the kanji that's written on the izakaya lanterns uh, lantern. of course like Yuji is right behind me right but I want to show you guys how you can do it at home because you don't have a Yuji at home do you Okay, so there's kanji on here. Of course, I don't know what the fuck it says. Hold on. Oh, this one says ramen. I can read that. This one says oden. This one says udon. Uh, we don't have any of that. Uh, maybe I should just write my own kanji. Let's do that instead. Okay, because I'm really bad at explaining stuff, what I'm doing right now is going to Jisho, which is an online Japanese English dictionary. What's really great about this dictionary is that you can actually look up different kanji, the meaning, and how to actually write it. So I highly recommend it, not sponsored. So what is on the menu tonight? Yakitori. So there's this kanji, or we can write it in hiragana. Oh, doshio. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to write the kanji. Oh god, it's gonna be bad. Should I just do the hiragana? No, no, I'm gonna gambate. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I've seen lanterns with uh, hiragana on it. Yeah, 
They yeah. say udon. No, it says yakitori. And oden. No, right? Yakitori and hiragana. I'm gonna be a champ and I'm gonna do it in kanji. <laughs> I'm a champ. All right. This is really difficult because it's very wrinkly as well. Oh, this is, it's cool. It's got like this rustic feel to it. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like a, I think my nephew can draw better than this. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, first up will be the kimchi, cream cheese, little appetizer, snacky, thingy. I don't know what to call it, but it's good. Kimchi, cream cheese, which I also have already started to eat. But an important note is that you should try freezing your cream cheese first because the reason why it will be easier to cut. First, you're gonna grab some kimchi. So yeah, just make cubes. I let the cream cheese in for about two hours. Okay, next dish, appetizer, side dish, whatever you wanna call it. No izakaya would be complete without cabbage. And all you need is sesame oil. You just drizzle it. Whoa. Okay, now on to the main event, which is yakitori. So there are a couple ways you can do this. One, you can either buy yakitori from your local supermarket, or you can make your own yakitori, which is what we did today. Or you can support your local small businesses and order takeout from them. Support small businesses. Okay, so we finished skewering them and I found this at the 100 yen shop which cost about 500 yen which is about five dollars. It's meant for fish but I am going to try to cook the yakitori on this grill first hoping it doesn't sneak up our apartment too much. Um, that's what we're going to try first so let's see how that goes. Okay, so for some reason, the fish grill that I bought at the 100 yen shop is not working with the stove. If you guys know Japanese stove, then you know that if it gets to a certain temperature where it feels like it's too hot, the stove automatically turns off. And no matter how many times we tried, it was always like turning off on us. So, and if you guys don't know Japanese stoves, well, that's what they do. Um, now we're gonna just try to use our fish grill that is in our oven, which I'll show you now.
根。We've ate a little bit. We can't eat too much, otherwise I'll go to sleep. But then I won't finish the next part of this video, which is the fun, fun <laughs> part. Aren't you having fun? I am having fun. Okay. There are some izakayas that have games when you visit the restaurant. One game involves dice. You roll the dice in a bowl, and if you get doubles inside the bowl, then you get another beer. So. We're gonna see if we deserve another beer now or later. Let's see what it is. Ah! Can you guys see? I got a five. Ah, no. Ah! Seven. We're gonna try a little bit later then. Oh! oh! Ready? Send. Oh, I got it! Let me see. Yatta! So because we can't actually physically get together right now, a lot of people have been meeting up on Zoom or Skype and having group chats with their friends. But recently I found a really good app called House Party where you can still talk to your friends but also play games at the same time. It's not good enough. Shave your head. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeans, pockets. Yes. Pockets. Okay. Uh, Natalie Portman. Uh, uh, Thor. And it's and we're, all these are animals. Oh, what? Oh, gosh, she, 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 a mere cat? No, no. <laughs> Natalie Portman is a black and white ballerina dancer. Oh, swan. Yes. Say bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Stay inside. Stay inside. Don't touch things. Okay, so the next part of the fun aspect of tonight's izakaya. So it's an activity that's not necessarily found inside of izakaya, but I think this activity usually follows one good night of izakaya, which would be karaoke. If you live in Japan, you may enjoy going to karaoke every now and again. And if you don't live in Japan, maybe you don't go to karaoke all that often, but you might want to try it inside your own home. Echo. Me, 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 me. No echo. Me, 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 me. Echo. Okay, so this is the Live Damn Karaoke app for Amazon Fire Stick. I really don't think it's available in other countries, but like I said, you can just search on YouTube for karaoke versions of your song because this is all in Japanese. Ooh, karaoke! Should I go? Oh, so